This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at Haynes.com. Transmission oil renewal. Check that the handbrake is fully on. Chock the rear wheels. Position a jack under the vehicle. Raise the vehicle and support it on axle stands. Lower the vehicle onto the stands and remove the jack. Note the location of the transmission under tray. Undo the screws and remove the transmission under tray from the vehicle. Wipe clean the area around the drain plug, which is located on the lower left-hand side of the differential housing, and position a suitable container under the plug. Undo the drain plug and allow the oil to drain. Once the oil has finished draining, fit the new drain plug and tighten it. If, for some reason, the old drain plug must be reused, Apply a little sealant to the threads. Remove the oil drain container from underneath the vehicle. Fit the transmission under tray back into position and secure it in place with the screws. Position a jack under the vehicle and raise it. Remove the axle stands then lower the vehicle to the ground. Remove the jack. Then remove the chocks from the rear wheels. Pull the bonnet release lever located in the driver's footwell. Release the bonnet secondary catch and raise the bonnet. Unclip the bonnet prop and engage the prop to hold the bonnet open. The transmission is refilled via the oil filler plug on the top of the casing. To gain access to the plug, unclip and move the engine ECU to one side, as shown here, or remove the battery and battery tray. To further improve access, unclip and position the wiring loom trunking to one side. Wipe clean the area around the plug and unscrew it. Using a funnel and graduated container, refill the transmission with gear oil. After refilling the transmission with gear oil, refit and tighten the oil filler plug. Refit the wiring loom trunking. Then slide the ECU back into position. If removed, refit the battery tray and battery. Remove the bonnet prop from the bonnet and secure the prop in its stay. Close the bonnet.